think the media don't really understand my decision to go to university. Which three major characters nearly quit the Harry Potter franchise? Being thrown into success and fame at such a young age was tough for many of the Harry Potter actors, and sometimes they buckled under the pressure. You would feel watched when you went into a bar. Actors were accused of doing everything from drugs to underage drinking and having inappropriate relationships. These actors got a whole lot of attention they weren't looking for. It's sad to not be a part of this anymore. Being part of one of the most successful franchises in the world is an absolute dream for an actor, but for some, their priorities are a bit different. While she was making loads of money and part of a very special project, Watson's heart was pulling her towards education. The actress also wasn't a fan of how intense the filming schedule was. After doing The Goblet of Fire, she felt totally out of control as all of her time was being controlled and dictated by other people, leaving her feeling totally trapped. It just was overwhelming. In the end, the actress stuck around and the producers worked to accommodate her schedule and Watson wound up going to both Brown and Oxford University. Hermione, welcome back. It was a dream situation. Watson got to fulfill her academic desires, and we got to see her play Hermione for all of the films. Drink. Devil. When Harry Potter himself watches the movies, great memories aren't always what comes flooding back. Daniel Radcliffe is actually able to identify when he was drunk when filming. The pressure grew as the actor rose to intense fame, and to cope, Radcliffe turned to alcohol, and the situation started to get out of control quite quickly. While the actor never drank while he was on set, he would often consume enough the night before that he'd show up to set and perform while he was still inebriated, or in his own words, dead behind the eyes. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! When Daniel Radcliffe got intimate for the first time, he was just 16 and got together with a much older woman. The significant age gap was awkward, but the woman was a friend of Radcliffe's and someone he knew quite well, making the whole situation a bit more understandable. Wasn't into it. Emma Watson wasn't the only one who considered quitting the franchise. The boy who lived actually almost left his role after filming The Prisoner of Azkaban. He was enjoying his time, but after rising to success so quickly playing such an iconic role, Radcliffe worried he may be typecast and thought it would be smart to pursue other types of roles to ensure he wouldn't forever be known as just Harry Potter. However, the role was pretty once in a lifetime, and at his age, it was hard to get better jobs than pursuing adventure at Hogwarts. What part of this isn't living up to your expectations? The final member of the Golden Trio, Rupert Grint, was ready to quit the franchise a few times over the course of filming. While it was a dream job, the actor became overwhelmed with how much it took over his life completely and really struggled with the rapid rise to extreme fame. What's this? Tonic for the nerves. The role carried a lot of pressure as well, since there was such a hype to live up to with the series being so popular. It's pretty tough trying to picture anyone else playing Ron. The old Codger can see at the back of his head. Seamus Finnegan actor Devin Murray wound up getting into trouble with his agent, who accused him of not sharing his earnings as he'd been meant to. After Goblet of Fire, the actor didn't pay the agent Neil Brooks well over 200,000 pounds. So, Murray was ordered to pay up a whopping 210,000 pounds to Brooks. I'll do this. Actually, I can. Before the whole franchise even started, there was some drama between cast members. Emma Thompson, aka Professor Trelawney, had to work with the woman who broke up her marriage with Kenneth Branagh, aka Professor Gilderoy Lockhart. Thompson and Branagh had been married for six years before the Trelawney actress called it off after discovering her husband had had an affair with none other than Helena Bonham Carter, or in the Harry Potter universe, Bellatrix Lestrange. Danger. Bonham Carter and Branna actually wound up being together for five years after the fact, but eventually that relationship dissolved as well. While it may seem like the situation would have been very awkward, Thompson opened up explaining that it was in the past and the actresses were okay with each other despite how rough a start they had. And request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. Radcliffe had major fans, which meant he also had a number of options when it came to women. Many fans were excited by the chance to be with THE Harry Potter, 
and when given the option, Radcliffe didn't always turn down fans and instead would indulge in one night stands every now and then when he'd been drinking. Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. No doubt being under the pressure of performing in such a major franchise is a struggle. Crush it, don't cut it. Rupert Grint and Daniel Radcliffe made headlines when the two of them were accused of being caught consuming cannabis. Are in trouble. It was reported that Daniel had consumed some of the illegal substance at a party, while someone who looked a lot like Grint was caught in a photo. Both actors and their reps denied the allegations in the end, though. It's a disappointment for, for him and, and the franchise. In 2009 London, no one wanted to be caught with cannabis on them, especially not an actor. Unfortunately for Hogwarts bully crab actor Jamie Waylett, he was both carrying and growing enough to get into a lot of trouble. There were eight bags of the illegal substance in his car, which was only made worse by the approximately 2,000 pounds worth of plants he was growing at home. Waylett had to pay for his crime with over 100 hours of community service after pleading guilty. I've just accepted it now. Emma Watson was unfortunately caught in some uncomfortable situations when it came to her red carpet appearances. Paparazzi can be ruthless, and they embarrassed Watson when they caught a snap of the actress getting out of a car and exposing her underwear to the public in the process. Another time, the wind turned against her and blew her dress up in a way that exposed her underwear yet again when she was working the red carpet before seeing the half-blood prince. It was me, but I swear. I didn't mean to. The youngest Weasley found herself in an awkward situation when a photograph surfaced of her allegedly rolling a joint. The photo came out just after wrapping the Half-Blood Prince, when Wright was just 17 years old. This was definitely a scandalous photo to have floating around, and the truth of what was happening in the photo has never actually been confirmed. As we get dressed now, it may not be pleasant, so... A Gringotts Goblin from the very first Harry Potter film found himself in quite a bit of trouble when he was accused of indecent exposure on a train. The actor ended up needing to do a sex offenders course after he was charged as guilty in court and had to pay a 500 pound fine. <laughs> All hands on deck, Granger. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and in Emma Watson's case, the story being told was quite the scandal. The actress was just 15 when a picture of her with a bottle of Corona held to her mouth was circulated online. While it looked very bad, the actress had just been posing and used the bottle as a prop since she only began drinking when she was of legal age in the US, since she was attending Brown University there. The winner is Mr. Daniel! Daniel Radcliffe wasn't shy when it came to sharing how he felt about the Oscars, calling them out for not recognizing commercial films fairly. But we're hoping that they kind of do. Considering how brilliant the Harry Potter movies were, Radcliffe felt the films were more deserving of nominations than other movies and even named Hugo as an example of one that wasn't up to par. While he definitely made some fair points, we're not too sure the Academy was much of a fan of him after the comments. Many of the cast members of Harry Potter began their journey at such young ages, they had the whole world watching their every move as they made mistakes. It makes sense they had their fair share of personal troubles while dealing with the pressure of worldwide success. Which scandal surprised you most? <laughs>